everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Traveling Your Way Through Happiness. Today, we travel back to an island country in East Asia, located in the Northwest Pacific Ocean. That country is Japan, and the ideology we will be discussing today is that of wabi-sabi. Japan is an island country on the Asian continent. This country consists of a great string of islands in a northeast-southwest arc that stretches for approximately 1,500 miles through the western North Pacific Ocean. Nearly the entire land area is taken up by the country's four main islands. From north to south, these are Hokkaido, Honshu, Shikoku, and Kyushu. Honshu is the largest of the four. Almost four-fifths of Japan is covered with mountains. The highest peak in Japan's most famous mountain is Mount Fuji, a cone-shaped volcano considered sacred by many Japanese. Japan also has the 11th largest population in the world. An estimated 126 million people live in this country. Lastly, Japan has the world's highest percentage of elderly people, and its population is growing faster than any other country. According to Kyoto Ryokan Sakura.com, in Japan there are many deep and meaningful concepts that are part of Japanese culture. The traditions and trends of the country are very interesting and circle around different forms of philosophy. Japanese culture and philosophy have a unique ideology of beauty and the perception of beauty and aesthetics in the world. Wabi-sabi is the view or thought of finding beauty in every aspect of imperfection in nature. It is about the aesthetic of things in existence that are imperfect, impermanent, and incomplete. OmarItani.com explains, In a world that is riddled with high stress levels, fast-paced living, unrealistic pursuits of perfection, and a damaging affliction with materialistic wealth, there's an ancient Japanese way of life that can be just what we need right now to save us from our total demise. Wabi-sabi is a concept that motions us to constantly search for the beauty in imperfection and accept the more natural cycle of life. It reminds us that all things, including us and life itself, are impermanent, incomplete, and imperfect. Perfection, then, is impossible and impermanence is the only way. Taken individually, wabi and sabi are two separate concepts. Wabi is about recognizing beauty in humble simplicity. It invites us to open our heart and detach from the vanity of materialism so we can experience spiritual richness instead. Sabi is concerned with the passage of time, the way all things grow, age, and decay, and how it manifests itself beautifully in objects. It suggests that beauty is hidden beneath the surface of what we actually see, even in what we initially perceive as broken. Together, these two concepts create an overarching philosophy for approaching life. Accept what is, stay in the present moment, and appreciate the simple, transient stages of life. There's a plethora of wisdom embedded within the very fabric of this old age philosophy. Here are five of these wabi-sabi teachings that can better help you to fully step away from the modern-day struggles of moving fast, striving for perfection, and chasing inorganic forms of success. One, through acceptance, you find freedom. Out of acceptance, you find growth. Two, all things in life, including you, are in an imperfect state of flux. So strive not for perfection, but for excellence instead. Three, appreciate the beauty of all things, especially the great beauty that hides beneath the surface of what seems to be broken. Four, slow and simple is the only way to feel the joy of what it means to be alive. And lastly, five, to be content exactly where you are with all that you already have is to be happy.
The truth is, our obsession with seeking happiness has blinded us to what happiness actually is, an emotion. It's just another emotion. Wabi Sabi is a beautiful philosophy to embed and practice in your everyday life. But at its core, Wabi Sabi reminds you that life is fragile and temporary. It is as impermanent as anything else in nature. So why not give yourself permission to be just that, yourself? Available to check out at Euless Public Library through our digital resource, Hoopla, is the title, Wabi Sabi, Welcome, Learning to Embrace the Imperfect and Entertain with Thoughtfulness and Ease by Julie Pointer Adams. Thanks again for traveling with me, everyone. See you next time.